everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on Desire, Stamperia's, one of Stamperia's latest Stamperia Lay's collections, and we're on page, page six. It's a simple page with a nice pocket and some inserts. So our pocket is going to be eight and a half inches across by five, by four and five eighths tall. You're gonna score a half inch on three sides and form your pocket. So again, eight and a half inches across, four and five eight inches tall. It's my dog, her hair is everywhere. <laughs> I love her, but I'm telling you, German Shepherd, they are quite a handful when it comes to uh, hair management. It's a daily challenge. Okay, we're gonna put this flush on the bottom. And um, so it's gonna be flush to the bottom and flush to the left hand edge, leaving this designer strip exposed. Oops, a little too quick. we go. This is the paper that I chose to go here and I think, I'm going to look it up real quick. I do think it's from the 12 by 12 though I'm not sure. Mm, I don't see it. Not, oh, no, it's from the backgrounds. It's from the 12 by 12 background. I was thinking it came from the original pack. Okay, so that's going to go here on the bottom. I think I've got it inked and dry fit. So we can go ahead and put this down. Gotta love these uh, pockets, they go so quick. Um, part of the reason they go so fast is because I go ahead and map the inserts offline. Um, if I was doing it with you guys, and since it's not interactive, I don't think it's required, um, it would be more in line with the typical amount of time of a page if that makes any sense. So I usually spend anywhere on the order of five to 12 minutes adding the interactive elements, and then the rest is decorating. But it goes super fast when I've done most of the decorating offline. So this is a five by seven, and this is a six by eight. And then I've um, used my corner chomper to make a stub at the top. This is from I don't know. Uh, it's either the 8x8. Eight eight. It's from the collection pack. I just don't know which size. 8x8 eight eight or 12x12. 12 12. I think it's the 8x8. Eight uh, eight eight, yes. So we're going to insert that slightly into the pocket. And that's going to become our pocket liner. And again, five, five by seven, six by eight. These are the inserts for page six. I'll be back soon with page seven. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we are working on page seven, page seven. And then this is kind of the layout. So this is gonna be a matted um, stationary page. I'm gonna do some layers with these beautiful um, cut aparts and chipboard but there's not gonna be any flips or folds. So, you're going to need two photo mats, and these photo mats are three and five eighths by three and five eighths. You need two of those. That's pretty much the base of the page. We're going to use um, this um, image as the background. So we're gonna go ahead and ink that and lay that down. And then we're going to add this 
just as a bottom piece of trim. And I can't even remember what I cut this off of, but there's these beautiful border pieces on many of the pages. And this is the one I chose. I think it's about the right size and I like the color. And this is an inch and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink this and lay this piece down. It's the biggest of the two. It's fun to do um, just these pages where it's not interactive and you just have um, lots of space to do embellishments. The more uh, interactive elements you add to a page, um, the more difficult it gets to add some of the embellishments because the um, elements, the interactive elements, scale everything down. And in this particular collection, some of these chipboard pieces are quite large. So this is 10 inches. So even if I wanted to do half and half, like I've done on some of the other pages, this exceeds that height. So that's one of the reasons I decided to just do a simple matted page here and all the um, visual interest will come from the embellishments that we add. Okay, again, we're on page seven. We are winding down. One more page. A lot of pockets in this, which are fun, I think. Um, and simple, and then it gives you a lot of flexibility with um, what you're scrapping. Um, when you have a lot of flaps, I mean, it's great for photos, but if you have memorabilia, um, flaps are a little bit more hard to work with. I like a pocket because I want to be able to pull it out and look at both sides, like a map or an imitation, something like that. Okay, now this was cut from the 12 by 12 collection and I'm gonna use that as one of the background pieces. But first, we're gonna lay this in. So this is gonna be the base. It's gonna go right here. I'm gonna lay it right on top. Yeah. And when I get done with my layout, it's gonna look almost like a little rug under their feet. Here we go. See, they're gonna be like that. So this is the next piece. Now I'm gonna fussy cut the bottom off and try to, um, not try, but I'm going to preserve the uh, potted plant. Originally I wasn't sure how I was gonna use it, but now that I know, I want to have the door come right up to the border. And this was just one of the um, images. There is a die of this and here, I mean a chipboard piece and it's a little bit smaller and I think this scale goes better with the couple. So that's why I opted to fussy cut this out versus using the, um, the image that was part of the chipboard. I use that someplace else. Okay, the rest of it's inked. I'm gonna butt this right against the edge, like so. I'm gonna let my pot come down a little bit. like so okay isn't that fun now I'm gonna add these guys and I'm gonna bring them down a little bit and I'm gonna uh, go heavy on the glue over here I'm not gonna glue behind the skirt because we're going to slide these two mats behind them Sorry, hopefully I wasn't out of the screen. Um, I, I said screen, but frame too much. Okay, well, tip of first shoe. Okay, 
Okay. Now let's go ahead and ink and mat these pieces. Again, these are three and one eight by three and one eight. I'm sorry, that's wrong. Three and five eight by three and five eight is what the black pieces are, and that means you can do three and a half by three and a half with the pattern paper. I'm not sure if these are a continuing pattern or not, but when it is, I like to line it up. Mm. It does not appear to be. Close, but not. Now, if you have a lot of extra paper, um, one of the things that you can do is make this a trifold so that it just folds in on itself like some of the other features I've already done so that you can get um, three or four photos on each one. I've decided just to mat it, partly because I'm running out of paper. And at this point, I've used a 12 by 12 background, a 12 by 12 collection, and two 8 by 8 collections. But I'm not finished yet, <laughs> so that could change. And of course, it'll be in the description. Just click Show More. You'll see the cut list followed by the material list. Or no, that's wrong. You'll see the material list followed by the cut list. And this is why I left her skirt open so that we could do that. Okay, now I don't know if I want to go over a little or try to line them up. I have to think about that for a second. I think I want to move over a little bit and part of that is because I do have this um, piece of chipboard which pulls the blue back in and I really like that. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. There we go. Yeah, this hasn't been inked, so I'm gonna ink it real quick. Don't think it's a sticker, but I'm gonna check before I put glue on it. I can't tell, Some, there's sticker chipboards and there's just plain chipboards and I just put them all in one bin and I can't figure it out. This is just a chipboard piece, or so it appears. Okay, we still have to fi fix this, and I've decided I want it to slide ever so slightly behind her hair, so I'm just going to use my spatula to lift it. There we go. Okay, and then I have these little tickets that are kind of fun. That's so upside down. This kind of softens the edge where it comes over the doorway, which I like. Okay, so we've got, like I said, if you have uh, more designer paper, you can make these open left, right, and have a center. Um, but I decided just to make it a mat. And before we move on, of course, there's nothing interactive to demonstrate here, but this is how it's going to look right next to uh, the previous page. So I think that looks nice. Um, you see the blue and the blue, it ties in. It's a good balance. I might add some um, little pieces of ephemera 
or interesting elements to this to make it a little bit more interesting. Not sure what, but I've got a whole pile of stuff. Plenty of goodies to use um, to uh, embellish the album as we move along. So that's it. That is six and seven. Six and seven. <laughs>